Hello, this is JMYH3, and this is the first episode of Season 2 of the Pierre Gasly Career Mode, Pierre's Path to Glory, and it is Australia for Season 2, and we have driver transfers aplenty. So if you missed that video, then I'll leave a link to it in the description. There was a driver transfers roundup, and uh, this is track position now, as you can see, and we've got all this fleet purple lap. But yeah, if you missed that video, then uh, go and check it out. Big thanks to Matt for helping with that one. But yeah, it's pretty important because there's been plenty of driver transfers, including uh, Nico Rosberg leaving the sport along with Felipe Massa, and <coughs> myself moving to Red Bull, and Daniel Ricciardo moving to Mercedes are the main ones. But then qualifying pace test, as I'm saying all this, I actually fail, so that's not too good. And now into the actual qualifying session, and it's uh, looking very sunny in Australia. Australian Grand Prix obviously happening this weekend in real life, so very exciting. And here I'm on my first run, and I'm stuck behind the Sauber of, I think this is uh, this is Charles Leclerc. It might be Giovinazzi, I'm not too sure. But um, yeah, pretty d annoying to be stuck behind him so much on the first lap in qualifying. So first race for a new team, I'm looking to get off to a good start. And the target is third place, but unfortunately the first lap isn't very good at all. So it leads me down in sixth place, I think that was. And I've dropped to about 16th by the end of the session. And here we have the, the other Sauber, this time it is Charles Leclerc. And that is ruined, like, we don't know about ruined, but I've lost plenty of time in turn three because of that. So not too good at all. I am going to improve by about half a second, but unfortunately it's only good enough for 11th place, or 9th place currently. But then by the end of the session, that drops me down to 11th, which is very disappointing. So Daniel Ricciardo in his new team Mercedes takes pole position in a, his, his home Grand Prix at Australia, close to followed by Lewis Hamilton, Max Verstappen, Sebastian Vettel, Raikkonen, the two Toratos of Science and Carry doing an excellent job. Hulkenberg, Palmer and Verline round out the uh, top 10 with myself in 11th. Then the bottom end of the top of the uh, grid, Valtteri Bottas, Sergio Perez, Alonso, Magnussen, Button, all disappointing qualifying sessions. Then it's the two Hasses, the two Manners and the Salvas bring up the rear, three seconds off the pace. They say that even a second is an eternity in Formula One. So going four winter months with no racing at all has seemed a very long time indeed. We're back though in Melbourne, home of the Australian Grand Prix since 1996. So race then, I'm starting 11th, which gives me the opportunity to start on soft tyres, which means I can quite easily do a one stop. So that is very nice indeed. So here we are, five red lights for the Australian Grand Prix, and away we go, and it's a decent start compared to Julian Palmer ahead of me, so I get straight ahead of him. And here's Nico Carey, who's also bogged down. Pascal Verline's going for a move in a Force India up ahead. I'm right on the outside of Verline, it's getting a bit blocked off by Science, my former teammate. But that is already up into about seventh place off the grid. So that is very nice to start. <coughs> and here we have Pascal, uh, not Pascal. Carlos Sainz ahead of me, and I'm going to absolutely dive bomb him into turn 4 or 3, I think this is, I can't quite remember. And now we have the Williams and Nico Hulkenberg ahead of me, then two Fries are going side by side up ahead, which is completely slowing down the German and the Williams. So Nico Hulkenberg is getting bogged down, I'm going to go to the inside line, get squeezed out slightly by Raikkonen, or a Vettel this might be, and at the end, Sebastian Vettel, we absolutely dive it on the inside of turn 7. So that is a very nice start, we're taking about 6 cars, we're up into about 5th place with the two Mercedes and my teammate Verstappen in the top 3, followed by Kimi Raikkonen, but now on the back of Raikkonen, we're going to absolutely dive bomb into turn one. Raikkonen can't turn in because I'm in the way, and that is fourth place taken. So, 11th to fourth in just over a lap isn't too bad at all, I don't think. And here we have Kevin Magnussen a few laps later in his Renault, and we have the I think this is Sergio Perez and Fernando Alonso going side by side. Magnussen's going to go for a gap and get absolutely squeezed out by Alonso, and he loses his front wing and he gets tagged to loot, gets a front puncture as well off the of the Esteban Gutierrez that was, and that's called a virtual safety car just as Hamilton set a fastest lap, so it's the end of lap 2, and uh, this will neutralise the field a bit, allowing me to save my tyres, so let's look at a replay to start while we're at it, and if the lights go out and Daniel Ricciardo gets a good start from pole, the Ferrari of Kimi Raikkonen got a good start from fourth actually, we all almost uh, had a look at Lewis Hamilton, but then Max Verstappen noticed to put it right around the outside and take the third place back from the fin, and yeah, Ricciardo and Hamilton completely dominating already, and they're pretty far ahead of Max Verstappen, the two Ferraris going side by side you can see. And uh, that is what really helped me out because it allowed me to pass both um, Hulkenberg and the two Ferraris indirectly. But here's the view from Carlos Sainz, and he is seventh place, I believe, or sixth place, I should say, which is very good qualifying for him, out qualifying me, which is disappointing. So he gets a decent start, gets uh, overtaken up the inside by Nico Hulkenberg in the Williams in his new team. And uh, yeah, so that's disappointing for Sainz, but then it looks like he's going to try and get in the slipstream. But then, as we know, I absolutely dive on him into turn three on the right hand side, there I am, and take the position from my former teammate, and then you can just see up ahead how much the Ferrari slow everyone down, so uh, that really allows me to take advantage, you can see how close it was between myself and Nico Hulkenberg right there, 
There was no contact move, but it's very, very close, and it's nice to see. And then I absolutely lunge up the inside of Vettel as well, who actually gets forced out and almost in position to Hulkenberg. Science actually tap brushes the wall because he went for a gap that wasn't really there. So Science is in seventh place or eighth place, should I say, in lap eight now. And uh, the front rows are all pitted, so I actually I'll take the lead as a, I think that's Daniel Ricciardo has made a pit stop. So yeah, the, everyone in the top 10 will have to two stop this race because they started on super soft tyres, whereas I can one stop. And yeah, after the pit stops, you can just see Lewis Hamilton has actually undercut his Australian teammate, Daniel Ricciardo, and they're very, very close to each other now. And Max Verstappen is not too far behind. There he is in the background, you just saw. But now on to lap 12, and my tyres have really hit the edge, so I'm going to be pitting this lap and putting on a set of mediums, which should go to the end from here. So that will be very nice indeed. And I will come out behind everyone else, but uh, I should come out in about fourth or fifth place which would be very nice here. I think that's uh, Dan Ricciardo going back into the lead, or Lewis Hamilton, I should say, and Max Verstappen taking second place. I'm not sure where that overtake has happened, but it seems like Verstappen is up into second, which is very nice indeed for my teammate. And I should come out in about fifth or sixth place. Here's a, some more cars coming down the pit straight now, and it's going to be very, very close between the second car. There's the Haas of Gutierrez, and I think this is Kimi Raikkonen coming round my outside now. I have to hover over the curve to avoid contact. And yeah, just about reclaim the position from Kimi Raikkonen in the Ferrari and uh, he's going to look to the outside line and we'll have to defend into turn three and it should be fairly easy uh, manoeuvre to defend and yes it is and that is still reclaimed. Here's Dan and Ricardo. this is the order, Ricardo from Verstappen and then it's Lewis Hamilton in third place and right now it's Gutierrez in fourth who's going really long with his medium tyres so very well done to him but now I'm going to try and relieve him of fourth place and take it for myself and that is exactly what I do on my fresher medium tyres so yeah, I'm up into fourth, and the top three all have pit stops to make yet. And here's Dan and Ricardo on to about lap 17. I think we've actually got, well, there's a massive engine failure. I don't think he's going to say he could make that any better. Let's just save it. And that is incredibly disappointing for the Australian who is leading his home Grand Prix and just shows how much bad luck the Australians tend to get at their home Grand Prix. And that has caused another virtual safety car, which is very interesting. But there he is on the left, Dan and Ricardo out of his home Grand Prix. And rather interestingly, Max Verstappen has chosen to box this lap and put a set of mediums on until the end of the race. So, very uh, interesting strategy call from my teammate. But he's hoping to go to the end now. He's down behind the house of Gutierrez in fourth. So I'm with the second with Max Verstappen not too far behind me. And here he is. He's just had a quite a bad exit from the pits. Not it was Raikkonen rather than Gutierrez, I should say. But now we've got the McLaren of, I think this is Fernando Alonso and the science and the, the, the Toro Rosso of Carlos Sainz and Alonso and Verstappen go side by side through the car park section and he's just about going to get forced out I think and the, the Red Bull should have more grip than uh, Alonso and he does but here's Lewis Hamilton who's now the lead car who fits a set of soft tyres and it'll be very interesting to see where he comes out in relation to myself and Verstappen so Verstappen's pit stop of being early but onto medium tyres has paid off for now because he's actually ahead into second place so I'm in the lead there I am, and then Max Verstappen's in second place, the Red Bull 1-2 right now. And then Lewis Hamilton just behind in third, just lapping uh, uh, Charles Leclerc, I think that is, in the Sauber. And uh, on to lap 24, with only five laps remaining, Max Verstappen has now caught me up. So what a climax we have here for the Australian Grand Prix. There's three cars on three different strategies, all fighting it out for the race win. And Max Verstappen's going for the outside line, I'm going to defend for the lead and just about fend him off for the time being, but Lewis Hamilton is not too far behind, and he's got the, um, the better tyres, so it's going to get very, very dicey. And here is Lewis Hamilton. He's looking for a move at the inside of Max Verstappen. He's going for it into the fourth last corner. He's up the inside and just about forced, there's a bit of contact, but he just about forces Verstappen out. So now Lewis Hamilton's up into second place, and he's the car I've got to defend against now. So here he goes once again, the very next lap, the same move that Verstappen tried, but I'm going to defend it just as well this time, force him out wide and retain the lead for the time being. But Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton are both, look at this, how close it is. And Hamilton's going over the outside line into the fast right left-hander. And he's just about going to get seed out. And there's actually quite a lot of contact there with Verstappen and Hamilton. And that was actually got, came me quite a lot of time. But here we have, on the very next lap again, lap 26. And Hamilton's going over the outside line again. And he's, this time he's got the move done, but we made quite a lot of contact. And Max Verstappen's going to take advantage here. And I'm going to back out of it so there's no contact. And Verstappen and Hamilton are side by side, but I'm going to look, look for the inside line, look at the gap, and they both have to leave the space, and I'm back into the lead, and that was a lovely move, I do say so myself. And Max Verstappen got back into second place as well, so it's good for the team as well as myself. But now on top 27, my tyres are really near the end of their life, and Max Verstappen has just got extra pace at the minute. So with DRS, he's going to look to the inside line, and I'm going to try and play it tactically here, because I can see that my tyres are very, very struggling, 
there's a slightly older than these two, the pair of drivers trying to overtake me. So I'm thinking for the team, I'm going to let Verstappen through and then hopefully hold up Lewis Hamilton so Max Verstappen can win the race. Because uh, we're already thinking about constructors in the first round. With Daniel Ricciardo DNFing, it's a good opportunity for us to uh, maximise the constructors. But now on top 27, Hamilton's going to go for the inside line. He's got DRS. I don't bother defending because his tyres have just got so much more pace at the minute. And he's going to go for the inside line, park it on the apex. I cannot do a switchback or anything like that. So that is Lewis Hamilton back into second place at the Grand Prix. So third place, it looks like. And Max Verstappen is going to come around the final corner to claim his first win of the season in the first race. And that is very nice for the team. And I'm going to come in for a podium from 11 on the grid, which I don't think is too bad at all. So third place, Pierre Gasly in the Australian Grand Prix. Not too bad at all. So Max Verstappen wins it. It's only six tenths in the end to Lewis Hamilton with four seconds back to me. Kimi Raikkonen and Sebastian Vettel come fourth and fifth with Valtteri Bottas mattering the one stop to finish sixth. Carlos Sainz with a good result in seventh from Sergio Perez, Alonso, Pascal Verlein and his new team Force India getting, 11, getting tenth place in a point and Nico Hulkenberg just missing out for his new team in eleventh place. And then Jensen Button in twelfth, Julian Palmer thirteenth, the Brits not having the best days out, Gutierrez with fourteenth place, Nico Carey falling away quite a lot from his grid position. George Russell in the manor with a very good showing in 16th. Romain Grosjean 17th from Leclerc. Ocon, Giovinazzi and Magnussen all lapped down and only Dan Ricciardo DNF. And the Drivers' Championship is as the results were and the Constructors' Championship. We lead it from Scuderia Ferrari who uh, the virtue of having both cars to score big is very paying off as Mercedes are in third despite coming second in the race. A big gap then to Williams and then on to resource points and we had quite a few of those. We unfortunately get smashed by Verstappen but it doesn't really matter and my driver position is absolutely shocking. But uh, we'll gloss over that. And yeah, this is in J183. So if you like this video, then leave a like on it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, this is in J183. And I will see you next time.